Hello, River Landing. It's time for chair yoga. So glad that you are joining me today. Ah, get ready for a good stretch. All right, so let's go ahead and take our feet. We're going to put them a little wider than our hips. Maybe just a little bit, so not too much. And then let's sit back in that chair with our head and our ears and our shoulders and our hips all in line. So if you feel a little bit forward, I want you to come back just a little bit. Let's practice that even before we get too, too much further here. So I want you to stick your head out and then bring your head back. Good, so working the muscles of the neck, stick it out and bring it back. And I want you to think about bringing those ears back right over the shoulders. Good, so stick it out and bring it back. Good, one more time, stick it out and bring it back. Now let's keep it right here over those shoulders, maybe closing the eyes for just a moment and breathing some nice big deep breaths. Relaxing through the body, taking that inventory of what feels good and what hurts, good. what feels tight and what feels good. Uh, I want you to pick one spot that maybe feels a little tight, and I want you to focus your breathing to that spot. So inhale and breathe into the spot. And let it go. Could you do it? Let's try it again. So breathe right into that spot. And let it go. Nice big deep breaths. One more time. Big breath. And let it go. Good. All right. Hopefully you've quieted your mind enough to really get into being in this place and this time getting ready for some good stretching. So sitting up nice and tall, let's bring a ear over to the side. Good, taking that hand, let's push it away and make a circle. Making that circle with your hand. Keeping the palm flexed, keeping the shoulders down and relaxed. And then circle the other way. Now take that hand, we're going to push it away. If you have that arm in the chair, it's up and over the arm of the chair. Good, now bring your chin and tuck it in just a little bit. And bring that ear over, now look at the floor. Tuck your chin again, breathe. Nice big breaths. Now bring that ear back over to the side. Good. Let's take that hand back just a little bit further. Good. And drop your ear just a little bit further away. Breathing. Remember, if anything hurts, we do it a little bit less. And if it still hurts, we stop. Good. Let's bring that head all the way up. Now the arm that we were working with, let's take that arm and roll it. Roll the shoulder backward. Good, make it exaggerated, up, back, and down, good. Even taking that hand and turning it with the arm. So it's uh, palm is back, palm is forward. Good. And then let's take that side and shrug it. Good. Now that we've done all that good work on that side, let's compare it to the other side. So compared to the other side, oh, what a difference, right? I can really feel the tightness in that shoulder on that other side. Good, so keep that roll. Good, so let's see if we can work on that other side. So we bring the ear over to the side. We take that hand, we push it away. Breathing, nice big deep breaths. Remember that posture. So are you still sitting hips, shoulders, and ears? I hope so. And then let's take that hand and make that circle. And then reverse that circle. Good. All right. And then let's quiet this circle, pushing that away. And remember, we're up and over the arm of the chair if you have one. We're going to tuck that chin right here, hold it, and breathe. Relaxing through your shoulders. Let them loose, soften through that shoulder. Bringing that ear back up, let's look at the floor and tuck your chin. 
nice big breath. Good. Let's turn that ear back over to the side. Tuck that chin one more time. Now push that arm back just a little bit, relaxing through that shoulder. Breathe. Bring that ear back over and all the way up. Now let's take that arm. We're going to do that exaggerated roll. Palm comes with it. Palm is back. Palm is forward. Good. That big exaggerated roll backward. Good. Now let's do it together. See how they feel. Oh, wow. It feels a little better, doesn't it? A little less tight. All right, so let's bring those arms right up into that cactus, keeping those shoulders down with the elbows lifted. Good, and I want you to inhale. We're gonna open, squeeze those shoulder blades together. And exhale, bring the elbow and the hand together if you can. Good, inhale, open. Good, exhale, bring it forward. Palms, elbows go together. Sorry, that microphone gets really loud then, doesn't it? Inhale, open. And then exhale, bring it together. One more time. Inhale, open. And then exhale together. Now let's lead it here with the palms together, elbows together. I want you to just hold it here and try to relax your shoulders. Try to relax. Soften. Let go. Can you get a little closer? If you weren't touching, can you get a little closer? Now sitting up nice and tall, I want you to go ahead and curl at the top of the spine, bringing your elbows towards your belly. Holding here, taking a breath. Good. Now inhale, let's lift it back up and open it up. Oh, now bring them down. Let's just shrug a little bit. Oh, let's just do them. Take the tension completely out, just struggling with bumps, like a bouncy shoulder. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and bring those legs out wide, sitting up nice and tall. Let's do a little wide-legged cat and cow. So I want you to bring your hands and pull them back just a little bit. We're pulling that shoulder back. Good, take an inhale. And then exhale, and I want you to slide your hands to your knees and push your belly back, so reach it forward. Push the belly button back. Good. Inhale, lift and open. Push that hip forward. And then exhale. And sway that back. Good. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, sway that back. Good. Last time right here. Inhale, lift. And exhale and sway. Good. Now let's come up, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to lean to one side and anchor. We're going to reach that arm out like I'm reaching for something. Maybe you felt a little snap in your back, something kind of correcting itself. I want you to keep your spine nice and tall. So don't crunch over and bend. Keep the chest lifted. Keep the shoulders back. Good. You got that reach going. Now I want you to keep looking that way and reach it back. Good, one more time, reach it forward and let that arm come down and hang. Good, you can let it move however it wants to move. Good, now we're going to lift that arm up and this time I want you to come up with it, reach it like you're saying, hey, come on over. We're having a great yoga class. Okay, and bring it back to the center. Now let's do a little of that cat and cow right here. Just kind of reset a little bit in the middle. So curl and extend. Good. And then let's bring that spine back to neutral. Let's uh, put that forearm on that thigh. Reach it forward, extend it. Good. Ah, feel that stretch in the back. Keep your shoulders lifted. Keep your spine tall. Good. Now keep looking that way, but take that arm and reach it back. Breathe. 
and then bring it back and let's bring that arm all the way down. Let's just do whatever it's going to do. Let it lay there, let it sway, let it circle. Now let's reach it one more time with that big extension. Shoulders are still lifted, chest is pushing forward. We're going to come up with it this time, maybe even watching your hand as we reach back and we say, hey. Good. And bring it right back to the center. Now, this time is our reset. I want you to come forward just that little bit. And we're going to take one shoulder and look over. Keeping the chest forward, other shoulder lift over. Good. Bring it all the way to the center. Now curl through the spine and come up one foot at a time, letting the head come up last. Good. Now let's reach tall. Let's reach tall. Reach. Reach. If it doesn't feel good to reach, bring it down. Reach here or reach forward. You have options there if that'll feel better for some. Big reaches. All right, two more. Good. Ah, and bring it all the way down. Good. All right, walk those feet in. Let's scoot forward in our chair, and we're going to keep the chest lifted. So keep it lifted so I'm not going concave in the belly like I'm sitting in a, a bucket seat. We're just going to hug one knee in. Now, I know if I hug my knee up here, that maybe you can't get there, and that's okay. You do what you can do that feels good. So if yours is right here and you feel a stretch, that's great. Where's your spine? Is it straight? Stick your chest out. Good. Breathe. Nice big deep breaths. Good. And then let's bring it down. Let's do the other side. Lift it up. Hold it. Keep that chest lifted. We're stretching through the back. Good. Anytime we pull our leg up, we're also using some tummy muscles. And it's also a digestive pose. So by bringing those legs up, we're kind of pushing things around, moving things around. So if you have stomach aches or IBS, those kinds of things, sometimes hugging those knees into the chest a few times is helpful. Not always, but sometimes. Good. All right. Feet come back to the ground. We're going to push either on the arms of our chair or we're going to push up using those tricep muscles. Let's rock those feet a little bit. Let's go ahead and get ready to come up off that chair. I still forgot to move the clock, so i got to keep looking at my watch so I know what time it is. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to remember to move it after the class today. All right, now put those feet back just a little bit, and we're going to come up and stand up behind that chair. If you'd rather stay seated, that is perfectly fine. You can modify and sit in the chair. I'll try to cue you um, about what, what we could do in the chair as an option. Um, if it's something that's not obvious. Okay, so I'm going to turn my chair so that you can you can see me. We're going to stand up nice and tall. We're going to take one leg and we're going to bring it all the way back, working a little bit on some warrior poses here. So in this posture, I want you to try not to lean forward. So don't be leaning here. We're not going there quite yet. So I want you to think of your building, if you will, from the hip, shoulder, and ear. Everything is still in line. The only thing we split was the legs, and that makes it a little bit less stable. Right? It becomes about balance at this point. So I want you to inhale, hold the chair if you need it. Otherwise, we're going to lift the same arm as the leg that you have back. Good. Reach up tall. Good, nice tall posture. Ears are over the shoulders. Good, I want you to push that back heel into the floor, coming on over to the side, making it about balance, right? A little wiggle, a little wobble. Grab that chair if you need it. Look underneath that armpit, stretching through the side. Push that back heel back. Soften the knee, don't let it lock out. Good. Breathe. Now inhale, let's lift it. We're going to take the hand of that side, we're going to put it right on the hip, and turn. And bringing that right back to center. Let's Everybody lean forward now, so lean forward into that chair. I want you to bend that back knee ever so slightly, stretching into that Achilles tendon. Good. Only do where it feels good. If it feels too tight, or if you feel a, a something pulling or tugging, maybe back off a little bit. Good. So bending that knee in the back, taking a breath here. 
Good. Now let's straighten both legs, including the front leg, right? Because that's one of the both legs. Let's lift that toe, push that hip back, feel the stretch. And I want you to imagine that your foot is caught in a bear trap and you can't move it. So you're trying to pull the hip back to, that your foot is stationary, it can't move. Good, it's stuck in that trap. So push that hip back, maybe a little further lean forward if you can, feeling the stretch in that hamstring, feeling the stretch in that hip. Good, one more breath here. Feeling that good stretch. Oh, let's hold it one more breath, a little extra credit. Good, all right, now let's come back up to that warrior one one more time. Let's see if we can reach those arms up. And come into that cactus pose, holding here, pushing that back heel into the floor. Good, let's see if we can transition to a balance pose called warrior three. Lifting that leg. Hold the chair if you need it. Hold that chair. Good. Where's your hip? Your hip should be down towards the floor, not up like a dog at a fire hydrant. So keep it down. And then let's bring that leg back. Good. Step it in. All right. And good. let's wiggle a little bit. Let's march it out. You know me. I like that wiggle. Okay. So let's do the other side. So that other leg goes back. Good, a little bend in the front knee, and we come back up nice and tall. So we have that good building posture from the hip, shoulder, and ear. Good. All right, pushing that back heel. Let's inhale, lift, holding that chair if we need it. Oops, you can hold the chair here, but or hand on the hip. You have the arm up in the air. It's the same arm as the leg that's back. We're gonna come on over to the side, making it more about balance. Maybe you feel a little wobble. Good, push that heel into the back. Oh, feel that stretch all the way to that hip. Let's look underneath the armpit. It's gonna stack those shoulders. Ah, breathe. Nice big deep breaths. Good, let's come all the way up. Now, I want everybody to lean forward into that chair. Good, still a little bend in that front knee, and now I want you to bend your back knee, and I'm even shifting myself back ever so slightly so I can bend that knee. I'm stretching right into that Achilles tendon and the calf muscle here. Feel that nice stretch, we're gonna hold it and breathe. Good. Remembering when we're breathing for yoga, we do it in through the nose and out through the nose to help us focus on the belly breath, all the way down into the belly. Good. Now let's lift it, lift those hips, straighten that front leg. We're going to hinge a little bit more at the hip, hip, lifting that foot. Remember that um, bear trap analogy, the foot is stuck in the bear trap. You can't pull it up, but you're still trying. You're tugging those hips backward. Good. Maybe we're leaning forward just a little bit more to get that big stretch in that hip. Nice stretch there, big deep breath all the way to the belly. All right, now let's put that foot down. Let's bring up that building posture again. Inhale, lift with those arms up into that warrior one. Hold on to that chair if you need to. That's perfectly acceptable. Always do safety first. We're gonna shift our weight to the front leg, lifting that back leg, hip stays down. You can do your arms however you need to to keep yourself upright. Good. Balancing on that foot. Good. Let's put it back where it started and then bring it all the way back up and let's wiggle. Good. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn my chair back to the front. But you can stay where you can see me, however you can make that work. But let's work a little bit on chair pose. So I'm coming to the side so that you can see me. Um, but you stay where you need to stay to be safe. Maybe that's behind the chair. So we're going to inhale, lift. Good, exhale, bending at the knees, sticking that bottom back, coming into chair pose. Good, now think about where your weight is on your feet and I want, want it to be as even as possible. So I'm leaning a little bit to my left, to your right, and I'm trying to get myself more situated so that my weight is even. Good, inhale and come 
come up. Good. Exhale. Come back down. Good. Stick that bottom back. Chest is lifted. Shoulders are down. Bring those hands to prayer right here. Elbows can come out. Holding, breathing, building strength. Where's your weight? Shift your weight so that it's even. Good. My tendency is to shift over to this left side, to my left side. Inhale, let's lift. Exhale, we're going to come down one more time. Building strength in those legs. These are great strength builder right here. Stick that bottom back. Shoulders are down. Good. Hold, breathe. And then let's Good. All right, and bring those arms down. Now, I'm sorry I didn't cue this in the beginning because we talked about if you were in the chair and it wasn't obvious. So let's do one more chair pose. For those of you that are sitting in the chair, I want you to just lift your legs up and hold those thighs nice and tight. So inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. If you're in the chair, you're lifting those feet, holding those thighs nice and tight. Good. All right, for those of us that are standing, let's wing those arms back. Good, nice tall posture, stick that chest out, ears are right above your shoulders. Good. And inhale, let's lift with a stretch. And bring it all the way down. Good. Let's work a little bit on balance. So come close to the chair here. Tomorrow's class, Wednesday, um, I hope for most of us is Wednesday, unless you're watching on the video, it might be different. But um, so tomorrow's class, I'm hoping to do balance. Okay, so one foot in front of the other. We did this a lot. So allowable cheats are a little bit forward and a little bit to the side. This is completely cheating, so don't do that. Okay. All right, so however you need to be, I need to be a little closer. Let's go up and down on those toes. Up and then down on the heel. Up on the toe and down on the heel. You can add arms if you're comfortable and stable. Add that rock back and forth, up and down. All right, two more. We're going to hold this last one. Hold that last one. Hold it up right here, up on those toes if you can. Squeeze your buttocks together, squeeze your thighs together. That's going to help you. Good. Tighten through the calves maybe a little bit. Down. let's march it out let's do that other side so here we go so I got a tickly here right there okay one foot in front of the other wow I'm already a little wiggly on this side I remember allowable cheese one step forward one step to the side but the back foot stays straight okay so up we go rocking up and down good See, even I have trouble sometimes, right? That's okay. Every day is different, right? Our muscles are more tired on certain days, and we are more tired on certain days. Up and down we go. Let's do two more. Hold this next one. Hold it up if you can. Grab that chair if you need to. Squeeze your buttocks. Thighs are together. Squeeze them together. Hold and breathe. Good, and bring it down, let's march it out. Good, all right, you ready to have a seat in the chair? Good, let's continue our good stretching here. So let's sit side saddle in that chair, and um, we're gonna hold onto the back of the chair. The front leg is gonna go down either with a knee towards the floor, or if you're more flexible, we could extend right through here. Good, so we're gonna inhale and lift, getting a big stretch right through that hip flexure right here. Good. and reach it up, and then let's bend it over towards the chair. I want you to think about pushing the hip down towards the floor as well as the knee. So even if you're here, we're just kind of letting that hang and letting that, that knee kind of fall towards the floor. Good, and then let's inhale, lift, and warrior two in the chair. Ta-da, so you're turning towards the front. Good, how many of you turn towards the back? I hope not many. All right, and then let's turn it right back here now. Let's extend that arm out and push the leg away. So extend the arm away, push the leg away. Feeling that stretch right through this whole hip girdle right here. 
Good, let's bring it in and push it out again. Good, bending the elbow, bending the knee, bring it in one more time. Stretch it out. Can you stretch that leg a little bit further? All right, and let's bring it all the way in. Let's do the other side. So we switch side, side, set up, bringing that knee to the floor or extending it out however you are comfortable. Holding on to the back of that chair, we're gonna inhale, lift. Come on over to the side. Big stretch, pushing the knee towards the floor, the hip towards the floor, the best that you can. Modification for the arm could be on the shoulder or the hip. Breathing, nice big deep breath. Good, now inhale, lift. Good, and let's turn towards the center. Ta-da, warrior two. Let's turn it back. We're going to reach it forward, extending the arm and extending the leg as best we can. Big stretch. Bend it in, slide it in. Slide it back out. Good. Bend it in, slide it in. And slide it out. Stretch. Good. Bring that all the way in and let's turn back towards the front. Uh, let's do a little something in the middle. So bring those legs out wide. Good, I want you to lean forward. If you get dizzy easily, if you had um, cataract surgery, glaucoma surgery, I don't want you to go any further. For those of us that can, we're gonna reach towards the floor. If you're staying up here, we're reaching one arm out, alternating the arms. Good, feel the stretch in that hip. Good, for those of us that can put those feet here, our hands here, maybe you have a block or a pillow you could use. Good, push your chest through those arms just a little bit. So I want you to almost push your chest through the legs if you can, the belly through the legs. If you can, keep the head lifted. Feel that nice stretch. Okay, and now that your head hang, relax through your lower back, soften. Good, now push up if you can, curl. And push that chest back through, lift that head one more time. Good. Last time, let's curl. And then let's push it to hold it right here. Breathe, maybe pushing those arms against those legs ever so slightly. And let's inhale those arms up. And coming all the way up, let's walk those feet in. Good. And let's scoot back in that chair. Let's pick up those feet right here. Let's point and flex. Let's add some hands with that point and flex those hands. And roll those ankles. Switch the roll, go the other way. And then let's do a little European way first. So we're going out and in. Maybe some of you have those European windshield wafers on your car. Good. Okay, and then let's shake them out. Shake out those legs, shake out those hands. Good. And then let's bring everything down nice and quiet. Let's close those eyes just for this last little minute. Breathing, nice big deep breaths. This would be a great time to turn the TV off and just do your own meditation if you'd like. Coming into reality. For those of us that are still here, let's just breathe. Relaxing those muscles, softening. Feeling yourself get more comfortable in the chair.
bringing your focus back into the room, holding on to that calm feeling that you have, that peaceful feeling. Let's take a big inhale, lift those arms the best you can, bring them into prayer, bring those prayer hands down to your heart, maybe bowing your head towards your hands. Thank you so much for joining me with yoga today. I hope you are stretched and energized and ready for a fabulous day. Namaste.